Should we begin adding creatine to the public water supply? The U.S. government has a history of adding chemicals to the public water supply in order to achieve specific health benefits. Beginning in 1945 in Grand Rapids, Michigan, an experiment was conducted testing the effects of fluoride in public water supplies and its effect on cavities in children. Throughout this experiment, a 60% decrease in cavities was observed among children, and thus many U.S. cities today now have fluoride added to the public water. However, today our children are facing a much more dangerous problem, obesity. As a solution to childhood obesity, we could add creatine to increase muscular mass in children. Fluoride costs the American taxpayer roughly $10 million per year. If we wanted to achieve one gram per person per day of creatine, this would cost us roughly $4 billion per year. Now while this may seem like an intimidating financial spread, there is an obvious solution to our costs. The American government also pays roughly $4 billion on government aid for sugary sodas in the form of food stamps. And so the solution is simple. We stop using government money on sugary soda and instead use that money to add creatine to our public water supply, thus lessening the effects of childhood obesity through extremely increased muscular mass in children. 